Hello everyone. So in this video, we will learn how to create Salesforce lead from new Facebook lead ads. So imagine this, a lead called as John has been generated from your Facebook forms. So you have John's name, email address and all details. So you want to add John as a lead in Salesforce, maybe to analyze the data or just to create a backup. So here you have two choices. The first choice is copy all the details of John from Facebook forms sort it out and manually add John as a lead in Salesforce. Now the problem with this approach is it's actually very repetitive and tiresome. So here I would suggest that you bring in some automation so that whenever a new lead is generated in Facebook, it will automatically create a lead in Salesforce. So in this video, we will be using Public Connect to integrate Facebook and Salesforce. The best part of using Public Connect is there is no need for coding skills or programming knowledge. It can be done easily. Let me show you with an example. Okay, so basically this is my Facebook forms. And the idea is that we are going to uh, fill in some details here. Okay, and once the detail is filled as a dummy respondent, the respondent will be added as a lead in Salesforce. So imagine a guy named Connor Michael. Okay, so the first name is Connor. The last name is Michael. This is the phone number of Connor Michael, bunch of random numbers and Connor Michael works in uh, Tesla and the payment he is getting is uh, 20,000. This is the email of Connor Michael. Okay, at the rate gmail.com. And this is the full name. Connor. Okay. Connor. Michael. Okay, so basically Connor Michael has filled all this detail. The first name is Connor. The last name is Michael. This is the phone number. This is the value. This is the payment he is getting. And this is the email. And this is the full name. Excellent. So Connor Michael is clicking on next and he is going to submit this form. Okay, so the form is submitted in Facebook forms. Now the idea is that the lead that is Connor Michael will be added as a lead in Salesforce. So let me just take you to my Salesforce account. So we will see that if we have a lead called as Connor Michael. So let's have a look. Okay, so as you can see, we have a lead called as Michael Connor. So basically, this is the gist. Anytime a new lead is generated in your Facebook forms, it will be reflected as a lead in Salesforce. So to begin the actual integration process in the new tab, let us type pabli.com. So your obvious question is why pabli.com? Well, we have an app called as Pabli Connect that will integrate Facebook lead forms to Salesforce. So this is the website of uh, pabli.com. Let me just click on sign in. Okay, so let me just click on login. Okay, so this is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. As you can see, I already have made an account in Pabli Connect. You can also build your own free account in just two minutes. So let me just uh, scroll down and here you will find connect. Just click on access now. Okay, so at the top right corner, you will find a button create workflow. Click this. So basically, I am going to create a new workflow. Now there is something I have to do first. Now since there is already a workflow that has been created to integrate Facebook and Salesforce, I'm going to switch off this workflow. The reason is, since we are going to create a new workflow, this old workflow running in parallel with this a uh, new workflow will create the problem of duplication of results. So to avoid double results, duplication of results, we have switched off this workflow. It is actually none of your concern. We are going to start from scratch from clicking on by clicking on create workflow. Okay, so we have to give a name to this workflow. I'm going to give it as Facebook to Salesforce integration. Of course, you can give any name according to your discretion. It doesn't really matter. So let me just click on create. Okay, so when you click on create, a window appears in front of you. This is called as the trigger window. So basically, we are going to create a new workflow. Now, if you directly want to access this workflow, you can clone the link of this workflow, which I have shared in the description box. Okay, so in the choose app, how about we make it as Facebook because we want to send the data from Facebook. That is why. So here we have two choices that is Facebook comments and Facebook lead ads. So of course, we are going to choose Facebook lead ads. Now in the trigger event, how about we make it as new lead? Okay, so new lead is a trigger event. So your obvious question is what is a trigger event? Trigger is basically a if statement. It asks a question if the condition is met, what should be done? 
for example if a new lead is made in sales in facebook then what action should be taken by the system now we do have one more trigger event that is new lead legacy now in case if you want more trigger events according to your choice you can make a request by just clicking on help here you can just put on your request that you want such and such triggers and our team will help you with it okay so all we have to do at this point is connect with sales facebook lead ads in the new credentials click on connect with facebook lead ads okay so it is showing the authorization is successful just press ok so basically in the usual cases when you press ok when you have connected with the app a webhook url appears in front of you you basically copy this webhook url and paste it into the triggering software but in this case facebook in case of facebook you only have to mention the page of the facebook as well as the lead forms inside that and then you just press the button save and send test request so when you press on save and send test request it will fetch the data of the recently created lead let me show you so as you can see at present we have a page called as technical boy and when we expand this so these are all the pages that is present in my facebook account so let me just uh, take you to uh, my facebook pages okay so all the pages that is uh, present in my facebook account let me just take you to all my pages i will show you my pages let it load give it some seconds okay so these are all the pages that is present in my facebook account all the pages that is present here is being simply reflected here this is because facebook is now integrated with public Connect. now out of all these pages i'm going to select a particular page that is my page i have selected this the reason i have selected this page is because i have created many lead generation forms in that page so as you can see we do have a ton of lead generation forms so these are all the lead generation forms present in this particular page so i'm going to select this particular form deals for today okay so let me just take you to that uh, form so first of all this is the page that is my page i have clicked it okay so first of all i'm just going to click on publishing tools so basically i'm just taking you to the form okay i'm just taking you to the form and then we will fill in that form once that form is filled we will just click on save and send test request when we click on save and send test request it will fetch the data of the recently created lead so let me just take you there so first of all uh, then we have to go to this part called as forms library and uh, as you can see i am working on business suit now in case if you are working with normal facebook profile it will also work the same the method is actually the same it doesn't really matter so let me just click on try business suit okay so let it load give it some seconds okay so this is my form library and uh, these are all the forms we have let it load okay so these are all the forms we have contact form deals for today react course lead form first lead form lead capture form all the forms that is present here is shown here this is because public connect is integrated with this particular page okay so this is the page and these are the forms so i'm going to work with this particular form that is deals for today let me just click on this form okay test form okay so basically we are going to fill in some details let me just remove this okay so it's just basically some history uh, we are going to fill in the detail as let's say mary the first name is mary mary spock this is the phone number of mary spock okay and she works in let's say tesla and the payment she is getting is uh, this much or let's round it off and this is the email of mary spock mary spock 123 at the rate gmail.com the full name is mary spock okay so we have entered the first name as mary the last name is spock this is the phone number of mary this is the value that's basically the company she works in this is the payment this is the email and this is the full name so let me just click on next and let me just click on submit okay so a form has been submitted by a person called as mary spock so what i'm going to do here is in public connect when i click on save and send test request as i mentioned it will fetch the data of the recently created lead in our case the, the recently created lead is mary spock so let me just show you let me just click on save and send test request okay so as you can see we do have the details of mary spock so the first name is mary the last name is spock the phone number is this this is the value that is basically the company 
the payment she's getting this is the email and this is the full name okay so basically we want to create a lead from all this data in salesforce so to do that let me introduce one more window so i'm just going to click on this plus button and this window is called as the action window so here i'm going to mention it as salesforce because we want to create a lead in salesforce now in the action event how about we make it as create a lead okay so create a lead is an action event there are a ton of action events like create task create contact create account create campaign all of them are a bunch of action events now just like the triggers if you want more action events according to your choice you can ask for help from by clicking on here and put on your request so let me just click on connect with salesforce in the new credentials let me just click on connect with salesforce okay so it is asking access so before i click on allow let me tell you something fabric connect doesn't take any chances with your data your data is 100 percent safe and secure with us so on the basis of that trust let me just press allow okay so it is showing the authorization is successful just press ok so as you can see a set of blanks has appeared in front of you the purpose of these blanks is very simple we are going to create a lead in salesforce from the data that we have received from facebook lead ad forms via public connect so we have to start mapping so let me introduce you to this button this button is called as the mapping button when we click this we will find all the data in this particular accordion so this is the data that we have got from facebook so the last name was spock and we have mapped it it's that easy okay so we are going to do the same thing with the first name okay and we have mapped it now we don't have any data regarding the title it can be mr or mrs so we are just going to ignore it now company as i mentioned it should be the value so the value was tesla she works in tesla and this is the phone number so the phone number i'm sorry yeah so we have mapped it now coming to the email so this is the email okay so we have mapped it so basically we have mapped sufficient details to create a lead in salesforce all we have to do at this point is just click on save and send this request to create a lead so let me do that okay so the api response is showing that the lead has been created so i'm just going to take you to the leads page of salesforce okay so yeah we do have a lead that is Pock mary so the presence of uh, this lead shows that we have successfully integrated facebook lead ad forms and salesforce now before you leave let me just explain you the whole mechanism in a nutshell so here i'm going to minimize this action window okay and i'm going to minimize the trigger window so basically this is the whole process in a nutshell first you integrated facebook lead ads to public connect and then you have integrated public connect to salesforce now so now there's a perfect flow of data between facebook and salesforce Excellent.